Uh, just worrying about my, myself and the team. Uh, not worrying about the outside noise. Uh, you know, nice little 10 game stretch, stretch we have right now, finishing up the season. So, just want to finish on a positive note. Uh, we know what position we are in. So, uh, can't lie to you about that. We are watching everywhere around the league. So, we got to make sure that uh, we take care of business and that's what we focus on. Uh, I guess after your after the game last night uh, on your radio interview, you gave some credit to Kyrie. Yeah. Uh, in what respect uh, has he been helpful? It's been helpful. Like I guess I mean not only Kyrie but all the rest of my team. Uh, uh, most importantly, but you know when you're out there on the floor, there's only a couple guys that are out there on the floor with you. You know, feeding you the rock. You know, on a consistent basis. And uh, uh, just being able to be out there, Kai. And, uh, him giving that confidence to tell me to stay aggressive, stay attacking. If I pass you the ball, don't turn down anything. You know, uh, we need that. So, uh, make or miss, those are all good shots. Uh, uh, so, shows the trust, the fact that, that your teammates have who's still, you know, uh, in one another and uh, moving forward. That's what we're going to need. How do you feel about the way this team has gelled and seemingly just like out of the right time? I think at the right time, man. I think at the right time right now. Uh, uh, we're understanding uh, how valuable each possession is, uh, especially as we get closer to the end of the season and full season. So, uh, like I said, we know it's at stake. We got we to be prepared for anything. So, um, we're taking each possession at a time and focusing on that possession. Probably be a little bit of a different side team. It's going to be a real different side team. Maybe. You know, we had this same type of uh, test, you know, earlier in the season with New Orleans. Uh, you know, New Orleans, they switched the court on us. Who do court on us, right? <laughs> no, but no, you know, all, you know, all seriousness, though, they, uh, we know what type of team it's going to be uh, there. They're going to come out way more aggressive, way more physical, um, and we got match that intensity. What do you attribute like your personal like weakness? Turn like I said, turn down shots, and being aggressive, drive to the basket, collapse the defense. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of guys now, obviously running out to me. Uh, I see that, uh, so just trying to get into the paint, uh, find shooters, find our bigs on drop balls, lobs. Um, just reading the defense, man. And, uh, uh, it's making the, the game a lot easier for me. Uh, it seems like everyone has a connectivity playing out of your actions in the half court. Yeah. Even like you guys that were at it, like Daniel Balfour and PJ Washington. What are your thoughts on like how the team's executed, like out of like, handoffs, pick and rolls, like, all, like basically like you know, similar to that? Um, well, it's all based off of reading Luka and Kai for the most part just because they're our, our dominant ball handlers. I mean, um, so just playing, just playing with them. You know, we need a full cup of tea with what we got to do on the, on the weak side and what we got to do out there on the floor to read those guys. But we know what they like uh, each individually you know, when they're both in certain situations with ISO or pick and roll. So we read them and uh, just play off their instincts. Um, I know, like... Not to pry too much, but I know you said like mentally and um, spiritually you've been, you know, searching within yourself. How has that helped during like the second half of the season? Uh, just, uh, it's helped a lot, you know, just like I said, you know, you have to have great peers and great uh, mentors and everybody around you. Thankfully, I have both uh, with, you know, uh, with a phone call away with my father and then my peers, my friends, the rest of my family, teammates, uh, the staff on the, on the map. So, um, just everyone in my in my corner, just uh, keep me positive. Like I said, making sure that I I don't uh, mess up my mental, or be at peace with my mental, and uh, um, don't let nobody mess with me. So that's eliminating all the outside noise, including you all. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> a little off. I just, yeah. <laughs> a little off topic, but as you know, leadership takes all, all kinds of forms on a team. What kind of uh, weight does uh, Marquis uh, voice carry? Just as much weight as Luka and Kai's. Um, probably even more just because he won a championship, been on a championship team, and uh, uh, those, I mean, he's our, I think he's our oldest guy on the team, so he's been around the block a lot. Uh, 
So it's just it's great to have that veteran presence and that guy to knowing that he's uh, going to talk to you each and every day, feeding you info, making, reading the game from a different point of view since he's not really playing as much, but he's still making that big and that much of an impact, you know, talking to us when we're coming out of timeouts or when we're in on defensive end in front of our bench, you know, just those little things uh, go a long, long way for us. So. Appreciate it. Thanks.